Hey, Buff Nation, voice of the bus, Mark Johnson here, getting closer and closer to that September 2nd game as the Buffs will open up the 2022 season against TCU. Joining us here for a few minutes, inside linebackers coach for the Buffaloes. All right, give us your assessment of camp so far. You know what? I think it's been a great camp. We have a hungry group of players. Uh, in particular, I can speak for my group, guys that are dedicated to improving and getting, be getting better. Uh, and you can tell that. It's evident in their time before, their time after, all the extra time and the things that they put in. So I'm really proud of where they are right now. we got to keep developing and building towards game day. And we've kind of turned the corner right now in training camp where our focus is all on TCU, so we're excited. You know, Coach Barnett and I were talking one day, and, you know, we were talking about, you know, who the linebacking core lost. Mm -hmm. And he looks and he goes, you know, I know you lost a couple of big-name guys. That's a good-looking group out there. Now, you don't replace a Nate Landman, right. but, but you've sure. got some very capable guys, correct? You know, I, I couldn't agree more. You know, you, you don't re replace a guy like Nate and the things that he brought and the value that he had to this team, you know, on the field and off. But I feel like the room overall is deeper than it was a year ago. Uh, it really is. We've got really talented guys. I've got three lines of guys that can really go out and produce. You know, I told the guys that, like, my, my level of comfort is that if I can put you on the field and I know you're going to execute what we do, or if I'm biting my fingernails when you're in there, and, I, and I've got three lines of guys and I'm not biting my fingernails, I feel comfortable and confident uh, that they know what to do and will execute it. You know, the interesting, interesting thing about college football right now, you get the transfer portal guys going out, guys coming in. Josh Chandler Samito, tell folks about him. He put together quite a resume at West Virginia. Josh did. He has broken a lot of huddles over his years. He's played a lot of football, and it shows. He's very instinctual. Uh, he's, been, he's been in a lot of different defensive systems, so it's just been about adapting to what we're doing. And Josh has not only brought a, a great level of play to our team, but he's risen the level of the guys around him, you know, just with his experience and his knowledge, and, and he's teaching the younger players. So he's been a very, valuable piece and, and we really gained a good player in Josh. How about Quinn Perry? Well, he played quite a bit of football last year. Yes, has he, he continued to grow into a leadership role? Quinn has. You know, he's done a great job of developing into that. He does an excellent job of communicating everything to our guys when we're out there. And that's a big piece of what we do in inside linebacker. We got to communicate with the front, with the secondary, make sure everybody's on the same page. Quinn is very detailed in that, takes a lot of pride in that. And his play has risen as well. Qu Quinn played both our weak side linebacker and our middle linebacker when Nate went out a year ago. So that that experience has really put him in position to understand all sides of linebacker play. You know, we, we know about him. We know about, obviously, we just talked about Josh and Marvin Hams, another guy played quite a bit of football for you. How about some of the games, the guys we don't know so well that haven't taken a lot of snaps, some of these younger fellows? Well, you know, Marvin is, is going to do a great job, like you mentioned. Robert Barnes is also in that group of experienced guys who's, who played a lot of football a year ago and is just even better than he was. Uh, we've got some newcomers, you know, as well. We've got Aubrey Smith. We've got Owen Carey uh, in that group who've made an impact here. Mr. Williams has done a great job. He's back and he's fully healthy and he's thumping people and doing his thing so we have a deep solid room Isaac Hurtada is another new player who's come in and he's learned our system right here got here in the spring has had a spring and a summer and now training camp and is doing a great job as well lastly here Mark how do you feel overall about that defensive unit as you kind of uh, you know dissect those tapes every single day? Well, I can see the cohesiveness coming together within the unit. It's year two under, under Coach Wilson, so the knowledge of what he wants is that much higher. Of course, the players are another year developed and trained with Coach Turley, so physically they're in better shape. The knowledge is there. Now you can see the cohesiveness of the unit coming together. They're playing for one another. They're confident in what they're doing, and that means the world when you're playing defense. You know, coaches never think they've got enough time, so you're about a week and a half out for that first game. Is that enough time for you? Are you excited to jump on the field? And I'm see ready what to go are? play tomorrow. You know, I want to go play tomorrow. I I'm ready, always ready for game day, but we can use every second out here. And we have a team that really values the time that they have out here. They, they, they're ready for game day, too, but they know that each day we got to get a little bit better and keep improving. All right, Mark. Appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Inside linebackers coach Mark Smith as we look ahead to that season opener September 2nd against TCU. Uh, stop. Oh, oh.